today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Well, today we are in Wheeling, West Virginia. It's our first time here, and we are at Sibs. S-I-B apostrophe S, possessive. We are at Sibs. I've never been here before, but I had posted the other day on Instagram that we were in St. Clairsville, and there were a lot of viewers that commented that we should check out Sibs. So, here we are. We're about to head in and ask for permission to film. Hopefully it is granted, and uh, we'll do a little film here. Check it out, see what we can find that we can buy, and flip for a profit. So here we go. It's a really nice piece. Christmas 1916. I love the design on that. That's really pretty. Jean Poyat, Limoges, France. $15. Mm. I mean, I kind of like it. I would drink out of that. You know what? I might drink out of that. I might buy that and use it. a new mug. Over here, I noticed this piece. $24 for this metal duck. I really liked it. I thought it was interesting. I don't know if this is like a souvenir piece. I don't know for $24. I don't know for $24. I'm like back and forth. Let me comp this out and see what I can find. Alright, so I tried looking this up on eBay and I couldn't find anything like it, so... I don't know, I'll grab it. I'll just, you know what, 24. Worst case scenario, I'll break even. But it's a really interesting piece and not one I've seen before, so... It's a little sharp. <laughs> a little sharp on the fingers, but I like it. I was just noticing this. I wonder if it's $35 for the set, for the earrings and the beautiful Millefiore necklace. That would be wonderful. And these Kokeshis look like they've got some age. Only $8 on the Kokeshis. So I think we need to get a key to get it in here, but it might be worth it on our way back down. If I remember. <laughs> I wonder if those are bunnies of happiness. Blue bunnies. Byron Hicks, 1991. $29. I don't think I've ever seen the bunnies before. They are super sweet. All right, I set it back down and then I paused to look up comps because I have never seen the bunnies before. My understanding is that Byron Hanks did a lot of the Bluebirds of Happiness and Ron Ray was the other one doing the Bluebirds of Happiness. So I looked these up. They are $29. It's signed on the bottom, Byron Hanks, 1991. Because I've never seen the bunnies before. And because when I looked them up, I only found one other bunny. A single, not two. I'm going to buy it. Bunnies of happiness. There you go. These two little Kokeshis here. Four dollars for the pair. They look like they have some age just by the wear on them. So I might grab those for four dollars. I have a thing with Kokeshis. This right here looks like it could be Talavera pottery. Let's check it out. What does the bottom say? Mexico, it is Talavera pottery. It's only $18. We do pretty well with Talavera pottery, so I think this is gonna come with us as well. There is a lot of glass. <laughs> Talavera, Mexico, $4. I wish we had a matchy match. 
the dome, but I love the sunflower on it. So we'll take that with us. This is a nice graduated candlestick. It's Hager, of course. Of course, of course. $12 for that. I like the glaze on that. It's a bow wow. Eight dollars. We had one of these hound dogs not too long ago. Did pretty well with it, so we'll buy another one. All right. I don't believe that this is aloe vera, but it is Mexican pottery. Look at us cleaning up on the Mexican pottery. Let's see how much it is. Twenty-two dollars. But you know, I saw a post today from an interior designer, and he had his um, sun porch, and he had these Mex he had two Mexican pottery fish on his sun porch table, uh, and I just thought, oh my gosh, look at that! Isn't that so cool that he's using vintage Mexican fish in his decor? So now here, what are the chances that I come across one today? So I think I'm gonna buy it. This piece is interesting. I don't know whose water that is, it just appeared here. It's Italy. $12. Italy? Rooster plate? Thoughts? I don't know. No? Oh wow, you managed all of that? I'm impressed. All right, so that concludes our time here at Sibs in Wheeling, West Virginia. Our total spend here was $304, and I feel like we got some really great pieces. I'm excited about that Port Marion. It was kind of hidden there, and I wasn't really expecting it. And then I noticed the botanical pattern, and I'm like, wait a second, is that Port Marion? And sure enough, it was. So we're getting the boxes loaded here in the truck. We brought 24 empty banana boxes with us, and I think we have two empty banana boxes remaining on this trip. Yeah, I think I got three empties left. Three empties left, so. <laughs> We have to use them sparingly from here on out, but I think we're going to grab a bite to eat somewhere and uh, continue this journey. We'll probably film one or two more videos on our trip home, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to Sibs. If you're in the area, stop by, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to move on down the road, and we will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.